So my name is Bruno Simpson. I work for Waimea Nurseries and Waimea Variety Management in New Zealand. Um, my role there is the development manager of our, both of our companies specialising in uh, new variety development and then general nursery work. I guess I'm fortunate I'm a third generation working in our business so it's uh, the memories I have are, are of really being at my, you know, the, down at the nursery when we're younger working in our propagation departments and driving some of the equipment around and probably some of the more fun, fun aspects of it. Growing up in the business, it, it afforded me a lot of opportunities to be really in depth about what we do in, in our business and, and to see how it's developed over the last 50 years. As a family involved in this, you know, dinner table talk is all about your business and about our world we operate in. So that started from a really young age, so um, I couldn't even say how young that was. But then 13 or 14, really interested in the business side of what we did, and that, so that's going through high school, spent summers working in our business in different areas, and then I actually went away to university to study uh, business. So I studied accounting and business law, um, and, and that's, that's my background. As a family company, we, um, even though we have a professional management team in place, we um, have a strong view that the family has a, a guiding influence on it. And what's been really important for me is to be able to access those resources to guide me on some of the decision making and thinking that you need to do to um, grow into making decisions and having people working underneath you because it's a, it's a lot of responsibility. There's a lot of people working in the business that you're there to support in, a, in an employment sense and then in a, in a wider a wider business and uh, community kind of support. You, you know, you, managing people is one of the hardest things that people that you can be expected to do. And, and I'm still coming to grips with that. Um, one of the biggest, the biggest things is to find people you can trust to have conversations with that um, that enable you to get to the crux of the issue and provide some advice because when you're young you just don't know everything you're going to you're going to make some mistakes there's there's no doubt about that and what you need is a strong uh, support network to help you move through some of those thoughts the role of the nursery has changed over the years so we used to be a, a lead innovator in new varieties particularly with mutations of uh, Gala, Fuji, um, but what's changing now is how we fit into a, a new innovation system, a new global supply chain that sees us become less of the hub of innovation and more of a, a service provider to those genetics owners who uh, need to rapidly get their plant material out and to growers to deliver suitable plant material for what their orchard system needs because our biggest challenge as a nursery is now our clients are more broadly specialised in, in certain varieties and certain growing systems but as those growers know they, they choose one or two systems to follow. We, we have to deliver a, a standardised tree to ensure we can deliver it cost effectively. What we struggle with in our business is to start to specialise and customise that product to what our growers need. You've got growers who want a, a big tree planted in their orchard with as many branches as possible and now you've got growers who want uh, just a rootstock with a bud in it. And, and we've, we've got a role to service everyone in between that because the industry is going to uh, need all of those forms to, to grow and develop. I, I think there was a, a strong sense of obligation, for, uh, in my case, to, to um, come back into the business at some point. But what I, I find fascinating is actually, uh, from a pure business interest, there are incredible businesses that deal with multiple challenges. You know, you can go from having beautiful sunny weather to a cyclone that can destroy your entire crop to uh, an outbreak of fire blight to, to anything. So every day is different, which brings some unique challenges to farming. And 
Um, I, I don't think everyone really has the stomach for it. What I think is particularly awesome about, about ag and farming and horticulture at the moment is the, the industry is fundamentally questioning how and why we do things the way we do them. And there's a so, so much opportunity to improve what we, we're doing now through the adoption of new technologies uh, that we, we think that Hort's a great space to operate in. And, and you know, there's something really great about providing an inherently good product into the world. It's not a, a manufactured product, it's a, a grown product that has its challenges and it, you know, feeding the planet is, is a great thing to be, to be doing.